everyone in the room to turn off your cell phone, turn off your laptop, turn off your PCA, your PDA, your CPU, um, not because of anything that I want you to pay attention to me, but rather I want to make a point about paper and carbon. And that point is sometimes being paper smart can be carbon stupid. And as most of you know, if you were to run off a copy of the 700-page Stern Report on Climate Change, you would generate about a third of the carbon usage as if you spent one hour reading it online. And so the point here is that, as Peter said, the urban-based society has tons of myths about forestry, forest, and sustainable forest. And that, I think, is one of the primary challenges that we at PEFC face on a daily basis. The other challenge that we face has to do with the definition of sustainability itself. We at PEFC believe if you get the economic piece right, as the industry has said here today, 100%, and if you get the environmental piece right, as um, has been mentioned here earlier, and you get the social piece wrong, you are not two-thirds the way towards sustainability, you are at zero. You must move all three pillars together. These are not separate pillars. These are integrated processes. The next challenge that we face has to do with the value proposition. And that is, how do we demonstrate to those who do not come to us from an ethical perspective that we are a good value? And for them, what we try to do is we try to convince them that in a polarized situation, which is what forestry is around the world, having a consensus decision-making process in and of itself has value you would be surprised how difficult it is for us to explain to many in the industry that our programs to help indigenous people in the Philippines and our programs to capacitate smallholders in Gabon and the Netherlands has value. They just don't see it. And that is a challenge in the uptake and one reason I think we've not gotten to the rest of the world yet. We're working on it. The other challenge that we see is that for those of you who in fact want to manage your businesses based on the triple bottom line, that having an independently verifiable, in our case ISO compliant, transparent process is enough. And what we heard from the earlier speakers here is that the debate is moving from standards to process. And we think that is the correct direction for the debate to go because we think the processes drive the product. Now, at PEFC, we address these challenges from a bottom up national perspective. We do that because we think it is the only way to recognize the uniqueness of the culture, the society, the traditions of the places where our national systems are operating. We also struggle with notions of how one extends the benefits of certified sustainable forest management into the future. So we have a couple asks from you in the room to help us move forward. One of those asks is, if you're a policymaker, public or private, help us stop the fragmentation of forest policy. We'll handle the fragmentation of forest. We need help with the fragmentation of forest policy. Since Rio plus one, it seems as if everybody and his or her brother have hopped on the forest bandwagon. Unfortunately, many of them chasing the illusion that there's all these donor dollars flowing into forestry. And this has fragmented the situation. What we need is to have that come back together and rather than 
attempting to reinvent the wheel. Look, I'll be the first to admit, forestry is not rocket science. It's far more complex. There are more lives at stake than happens when you launch a rocket. So what we need is, we need you to partner with us, work with us, so that we together can move forward with the ultimate goal of the end of deforestation and having sustainably forest managed mainstream. In 10 years, with a budget probably smaller than the cell phone bill of the average UN agency, PEFC and Andre's organization have extended forest certification to 10% of the world's forests, approximately 25% of the world's solid wood in or globally traded, and a little over 50% of the world's uh, paper is sourced from certified forests. With the resources the two, agent, the two groups together have, we've achieved a heck of a lot. And if Ben is right and the best years are yet ahead of us, I look forward to it with great anticipation. Now, if you are in a procurement agency or entity, we would like to ask you to consider inclusivity. We think that exclusivity at this point is premature. If you are near the top of the supply chain and you are a commercial establishment, we would like to ask you to cease and desist from seeking short-term market advantages by playing the two systems off against each other solely so that you can disadvantage a market competitor. This violates the very fundamental premise of sustainable development. The other reason that we think inclusivity is the way forward is in our experience, if you could find the worst managed forest that's certified by PEFC, and if you could find the worst managed forest certified by Andre's organization. <laughs> I contend that those forests are better managed than the best managed forest you can find that is not certified. Not because they can't replicate our standards. Weed Mess Vaco said they could replicate the standards. What you can't replicate is the process. You cannot replicate, in our case, our Agenda 21 based decision making processes. You cannot replicate our international consensus based decision making. These independent entities and processes are what drive forward our system. So, before I finish, and you turn your phones back on, I would like to make another offer to you, and that is that anyone out there who has a cell phone that is older than my notebook, which is four years old, I will give you two dollars, provided everyone in the room who has a cell phone younger than my four-year-old notebook gives me a dollar. <laughs> Now, because we're PEFC, you're going to have to have the age of your phone verified by a certification body and an accreditation body that follows the IEF protocols. But if we do that exercise, I am confident you will learn more about the green economy than anything else that will happen because A, I will end up with most of the green and you will end up with carbon emitting devices. Thank you.